Hey everyone, it's Steve from stevesanala.com. How are you today? Today I want to talk to you a little bit about focus. Hey, thanks for checking out the video and visiting the channel today. Do me a favor if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell so that you get notifications every time I upload a new video. I wanna to talk to you today about focus. Focus, in my mind, is one of the most important things for developing any type of ability to be successful. To do anything, to achieve anything, you need to be able to control your focus. And what I mean by that is you are surrounded by everything, positive, negative, good things, bad things, things that are gonna motivate you, things that are going to take your motivation away, people that are trying to inspire you, people that are trying to break you down, also your own inner voice the thinking that you can do something, the thinking that you can't do something, all of these things are surrounding us at any moment, at any time throughout our lives. If you can learn to control and target your focus, you can learn to put yourself on the path to succeeding at the things that you're trying to succeed at. If you can learn to focus, narrow your focus and concentrate on the positive things or the things that are going to help you or the things that are going to propel you forward, it's going to be much easier for you to sustain any type of momentum and actually develop the things you need to develop and do the things that you need to do. It's also going to go a long way in improving your mood, improving the quality of your life, improving your happiness, improving your relationships. And the reason is, is that there are ups and downs in everything that we do. Oftentimes what happens when we're trying to change our lives or build our lives or fix things in our lives, we're doing this because we're unhappy. And when we're unhappy, oftentimes it's because we are focusing on the negative. We are focusing on the problem. And it's, it's not horrible to recognize the problems in your life. In fact, if you want to change something, if you want to improve the quality of your life, you need to spend a little bit of time actually looking at the things that are going wrong, the things that you want to improve. Because if you don't recognize and address and really uh, focus in on the things that you need to change, you're never gonna be able to change them. The problem is we tend to spend all of our focus on those negative things. So let me give you an example. A lot of people feel like they don't make enough money or they don't have enough money. When you spend all of your, your time, your energy and your focus fixated on what you don't have, it's going to magnify that feeling in your life and it's going to continue to make you feel like you never have enough. So even when you have little bumps and little, little positive moments where you start to increase, you start to move in the right direction, if your focus is constantly on the negative, if it's constantly on the things that you're lacking, you're never gonna really appreciate, you're never gonna be able to build momentum around the small victories that you have because your focus isn't there. Your focus is on all of the things that you're lacking, all of the things that you don't have. So what you wanna do is you want to work on improving your ability to focus on the positive things, on the things that you're doing well, on the things that are moving you forward. If you can keep your focus there and not on the negative things, it's gonna allow you to build some momentum and move forward. It's gonna, it's gonna allow you to be happier in your life because you're going to see all the great things that are around you and you're gonna stop focusing on all the negative things that are around you. And like I said at the beginning of the video, we're surrounded by these things all the time. There are good things and bad things that happen. Our universe is built on the idea of relativity. If something goes up, something goes down. If something is positive, something is negative. They, these things are surrounding us all the time and where you put your attention and your focus 
that's what you're going to see more of. That's what you're going to experience more of. Not necessarily because there's more of it around, but because you're seeing what is already around you. So how do you build focus? How do you develop that ability to focus in on those things and stay focused in? And for me, the biggest thing is a meditative practice. When you meditate, when you learn meditation, when you practice meditation, what you're doing is you're strengthening your ability to focus your mind. Your mind is the most powerful part of your physical body. The conscious, the subconscious, your brain is working to control so many parts of your body that you are aware of and that you are not aware of. It controls so much of our lives and yet it is something that most people spend very little time training. People go to the gym all the time to build their muscles, to build their cardio and their endurance, but very rarely do we train our minds. The way you build focus, the way you strengthen your ability to stay focused is by a meditative practice, by developing a meditative practice because what you're doing is you're teaching yourself to focus. You're teaching yourself to stay locked in in one area. Now a lot of people misinterpret meditation with this idea that your mind goes completely blank and that if you're in a, a, a strong meditative practice or a strong meditative state that you're just kind of completely wiped out and there's no thoughts, there's no anything, that it's just like a blank canvas. The truth is the practice in meditation is when you actually get pulled out of a focused state, when you get distracted, when you recognize that distraction is happening, and then you redirect your focus back onto whatever it is that is the, the, the focus of your meditation. I do a bre simple breathing meditation, so my focus is trained on my breath, my inhale and my exhale. That is where I try to keep my focus, and my goal is to stay locked in and focused on that breath coming in and on that breath coming out. Now, does that mean that I never think of anything, that no random thoughts pop into my head about, you know, things that I have to do later on in the day or things that I need to do tomorrow or things that I should have done the day before? No, absolutely not. These things constantly happen. These thoughts constantly pop into my head while I am practicing meditation. The practice part, is recognizing when those intrusive thoughts appear, not getting tied up, not getting sucked into thinking about the fact that you're now thinking about something other than your meditation, recognizing when that's happening, and then redirecting your focus back to, in my case, my breath. Some people focus on an item. You can stare at a pencil or a lit candle or a photo. Some people use mantras where they're repeating a word or a phrase over and over and over again. All of these things, what they do is they work on sharpening your focus. Now, when you develop a strong meditative practice, what happens is you get better at keeping your focus where you intend it to be and you get distracted far less. So, when you apply this to your life, and I'll use my own weekend as an example, I had a very tough weekend this weekend. Um, I wanted to accomplish a lot of different things, but when you have kids and family and work and lots of different things going on, oftentimes the things that you intend on doing are the last things that happen. Um, had a lot of sporting events, a lot of running around. My focus got stuck on the things I wasn't doing. And what ended up happening is I ended up being in a really bad mood most of the weekend. My focus was on what I'm not doing. I didn't, I didn't get to do some construction on the house. I didn't get to run some errands that I wanted to do. It was, it was, it was completely locked in on what I wasn't doing, on the negative. And when I recognized that, and when I started to shift it back over to, all right, let's focus on the things that I am getting to do. I am getting to spend time with my kids, spending time with my wife, playing with my youngest, going to sporting events, watching my daughter play softball, watching my son play lacrosse. Instead of seeing those moments as keeping me from doing something, 
I redirected my focus on the fact that I was getting to do something else. And once I started to do that, my mood started to improve. I started to feel happier because I, I love watching my kids play sports. I love spending time with my family. So just by shifting my focus from the things that I wasn't getting to do to the things that I was getting to do, I, I saw a dramatic change in my, in my well-being, in my happiness, in my overall mood. And that's where, if you can learn to focus, if you can learn to recognize where your focus is and learn to shift that focus, you're gonna be far more successful in everything that you try to do. So those are my thoughts today, focus. Do me a favor, in the comments section below, let me know, what do you, what do you find yourself focusing on most of the day? Are you focusing on the things that you want to do and that you're working towards doing? Or do you fall into the, the trap of focusing on the things that you don't have and the things that you don't do very well and the things that you feel like you're lacking? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you and hear your story. And as always, thank you for coming out, checking out the videos, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you've hit that subscribe button, if not, please do. And until we talk again, and we will talk again, I hope you have an amazingly focused day.